Restaurant Calatera in Chicago advertises its cuisine as a blend of Northern California and Tuscan Italy. Whatever it is, it is overseen by executive chef John Coletta. His Italian roots show with this dessert. Assisted by pastry chef Mary Teresi Krim, they present the Italian custard, panna cotta. Chef Mary begins a panna cotta mix with heavy cream, sweetened condensed milk, a scraped vanilla bean, sugar, and lemon zest. Okay, what Mary is doing now is um, heating the cream with the condensed milk. There's some sugar, vanilla, and um, lemon zest. Since it's an eggless cream, there's no, there, you have to be very careful to get it to a point where it's hot enough, but it doesn't uh, boil. So we want the internal temperature to be somewhere between 190 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's achieved by doing this over a double boiler. Right? Gelatin leaves that were hydrated in ice water are added to the warm mixture. Okay. Mix that up. After the leaves have melted, the mixture is strained. Uh -huh. After cooling slightly, the panna cotta is poured into aluminum ramekins. They'll be covered with plastic wrap and refrigerated for four to six hours. A garnish for the dish utilizes twill cookie batter. It's made by mixing melted butter, powdered sugar, bread flour, and egg whites. The batter is strained. Get the paddle knife. Using a plastic template, the batter is spread onto a silicon pad. It is obviously in a spoon shape. It is baked at 325 for four to five minutes. Then, while still warm, shaped over a spoon. Okay, now Mary is removing the spoons from the silk pad, placing it onto the spoons where they'll form and take their shape. And again, you can make the spoon as small or large as you prefer. Now, warm fruits. So we're going to add some butter to a warm pan. And then, you know, keep it over a low flame. And then we'll begin to add apricots, peaches, nectarines, some cherries that have been pitted and cut. And we add some, those are scooped melon balls. This is a little bit of simple syrup. Touch of sugar. And this is some melon juice. Take some fresh mint leaves. And let that cook for a moment. The panna cotta. Mary's dipping the panna cotta into warm water to loosen it. Take your time.